Virginia. Speaking of pie. West Ham won and it's a massive three points for the Blues. Um, what to say about that game? That had everything. Second half especially. First half was dross to be honest. Only a real effort in the game was Cover's chance. Well, not even a chance to be honest. It was the half attempt and um, it always looked like it was going wide. And then second half was just unbelievable. It had it all from controversy and we'll get into that later on in the video but I just want to talk about a few substitutions I do sometimes criticise Tuchel's subs but they paid off today with Brozier and Chilwell being the main difference and obviously the match winner Kai Havertz um, yeah it wasn't vintage at all let's be real but you know what it is three points and to start the season you just got to get those wins. It doesn't matter about performance. It is just all about the wins, especially teams around us dropping points with uh, the likes of Man uh, City and Liverpool both dropping points. And obviously we saw Spurs win and Man United Arsenal today. So, um, yeah, big three points for the Blues. Um, obviously the first goal is another Mendy mistake. I've just watched match of the day back, day after. And... Um, yeah, I've seen it. He just like flaps it. I know it's hard when he's getting pressured, but he just doesn't do any conviction about it because the previous corner, he actually did something and he punched it very well to um, relieve the pressure. And um, yeah, obviously that one comes in, he just flaps it and gives Rice the chance to put it across and Antonio taps it in. And we thought, oh, here we go again, behind in a Premier League game, will we come back? And um Thankfully, Chilwell came on. Thiago Silva, the main man, yet again. Unbelievable performance again. The last man to clap the fans at the end. He knows what it means. And I hope a lot of people take, well, a lot of the players take from Thiago Silva because what he's done for this club is magnificent, especially at the age. But that's for another day. But yeah, that unbelievable ball to Chilwell. And Chilwell just somehow got something out of nothing, to be honest. He edited it on and he put it through Fabianski's legs to make it 1-0. So, yeah, we took that and then the momentum was us. We had that, like, five-minute spell where we looked like we was going to score until bloody Corne, of all people, came on first touch off the post. And, yeah, Jesus Christ, that could have been, well, West Ham with the three points. And, um, 
yeah, but Broge was obviously a handful game and he was the one who played Chilwell in. He put it across and there's that guy, Kai Havertz, his first Premier League goal of the season, gets in front of Ogbonna to slot it away. And um, at that moment, Matthew Iron's going absolute berserk. We thought we've got three points. And um, yeah, it turns out there was more controversy to be had, obviously, with what is Rhys James doing. And in the moment, I did think it was for Fana. I apologise for Fana, right? He edited it back stupidly. Does not need to edit back like that at all. Especially just after scoring, hoping we've got the winner. And he plays all kinds of trouble. Mendy obviously palms it. Bowen goes over him. And uh, Corne taps in when we thought, oh, for we've just thrown it all away. Them three points have been thrown. And we're only getting one point after that great comeback. And luckily, God knows how. I've seen it countless times. I would be absolutely fuming if I was a West Ham fan. Bowen... Does nothing to stop the goal. Honestly, all he does is just go over Mendy because he's going to have to because he's going for the ball. Mendy's the one who just like pushes it straight into the path of the West Ham player. And um, yeah, God knows how we got away with that one, to be honest. But we've had our ones. We've obviously the Cucurella against Spurs. So it kind of, they do say things get evened out and balanced out. And that's with one of those occasions. Um, yeah, important three points and um, yeah, we've got a Champions League to look forward to this week because we take on Dynamo Zagreb in Croatia. Obviously going to be a tough one. One of the ones I didn't want in pot four, to be honest with you, just because I know their atmosphere is going to be electric and it's going to be a tough one. And they overturned Spurs in a two-legged affair last time in the uh, Europa League. So yeah, we've got to go to that game, get the three points and Brozier has to start. The difference he made when he came on, he actually pressured them. He made the defenders have a nightmare the last 30 minutes after a comfortable hour of football. So, yeah, Brozier has to start for me. Let's hope we can get the uh, Champions League group underway with three points. And, um, yeah, league next week is going to be a tough one at Fulham. They've started well. Mitrovic is on banging fire. And... Um, yeah, he's he's tearing up a bit more than I expected, to be honest with you. But, yeah, we've got to go a couple tired away games to uh, play. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can get some wins. Um, yeah, that's it. And, um, yeah, lucky win yesterday, to be honest with you. It was a mental game, but that's, that is it. And, um, yeah, up the chill. So I'll see you boys for the Croatia Dynamo Zagreb match reaction. Obviously, I'm not going out to Croatia. I don't really want to get stabbed, to be honest. But there we go. And, um, yeah, fingers crossed we can pick up three points in the first Champions League game. So, I'll see you boys Tuesday. Up the chills. We keep going. And um, lucky three points today. But it keeps us up there and we needed those three points. And we came back from behind, which is always a bonus. So, yeah, I'll see you boys for the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, we got away with one.